it was the injector on the lunar landing uh, that uh, was made uh, with uh, my material. 83-year-old Romeo Suik was given these commemorative medals for his instrumental part in getting man to the moon. One of them was given to him by NASA and actually has particles of metal that were melted by Apollo 11's injector. I was just there in a moment of history, uh, technical history of the country that needed something more. The aerospace engineer's something more was discovering how to double the strength of aluminum alloy. He did so while he worked for Rocketdyne, which was a part of NASA's Apollo program. The thrust chamber of the space shuttles are made with my material still today. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. While an estimated 500 million people watched Neil Armstrong make his one small step, one engineer who had a big hand in that historic footprint did not. Well, you didn't watch the moon landing, per se? Mm -mm. Why not? I couldn't. Why not? <laughs> the Italian born Suic laughs now, but 40 years ago he says he was way too nervous to watch, knowing what was at stake. Even with the wall of memories to remind him of his historic ride to the moon and back, he says there is just one destination he needs to land to relive it all over again. All in here, not even in their head, is in their heart.